I mean, to be honest with y'all, I've got way more gas than I do brake pads after this day. What's going on everybody? It's Friday morning before Bud's Creek. We got the uh, race vehicle back from Peter's Auto Mall when we traded back in the Ranger. But we're not taking this. It will not get us there. We are gonna go ahead and take the Taco Mall. Got my girlfriend's dad, Greg. We're loaded down. Pretty typical for a local. We're in Mechanicsville, Maryland bound. Here with the co-pilot. It's first national. It's gonna be sick. What do you think? Pocket list. A little late in life, but I'm getting him. Let me knock this out. Now let's hear it. <laughs> Hold on, here it comes. Here we got the Bud Creek finish line. Anxious to see uh, who I'll be crossing this uh, next to this weekend for my uh, second fake moto win consecutively. Just a little jump face, nothing to see here. Nice and blind. Oh, shit. Excuse me, operator. You missed the spot. We've got some hay and pine straw for traction. I sure hope they're not done yet because I don't know how in the hell we're supposed to jump that. I'd like to give a huge, huge shout out to American Label Technologies for coming on board this weekend with me for uh, Bud's Creek and helping me out. Um, they are a manufacturing and sales company that have been providing RFID and printing solutions since 2015. Um, so if you're in that avenue, go ahead and check them out and support the people that support the sport. And if you support them, you're supporting me. So thank you again to American Label Technologies. I really, really appreciate it. Go check them out. <laughs> All packed up out here in the race truck. We're parked outside of the fence of the pro pits. That's how local we are. We're not even allowed in. Got here a little too late. RM Army, baby. Time to invest in a new color and maybe some plastic. Parts may be scarce, but we're going to run it. Suzuki, just kicking it. Trying to get some calories in. Might have to dig into this tomorrow during Moto 2. Unless I don't qualify, in which case this will have been a waste. Out here at the Comfort Suites. Big thank you to Scotty Long for accommodating us for the weekend with this hotel. Really, really appreciate it. This is a bit over our head as far as, uh, yeah, it's a little nicer than we're used to. Room number 123. I think that's a pretty good sign. I think that's telling me I'm going to sweep the podium tomorrow all by myself. Thank you. <laughs> Let's get that number one again, baby. I don't know, dude. They scored him first. <laughs>
Good luck. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys. Nice meeting you all. Buds Creek qualifying's done. I'm trying to get my pre moto meal in, which is a good sign. That means we're in the show. Uh, first practice, it was pretty sloppy and sketchy this morning. I wasn't so sure how how would we be being underpowered today, but first practice, I think I was 32nd, and then second practice, shout out to my boy Justin Rodbell, towed me around, and I dropped my time a lot and ended up uh, 27th overall. Um, it's just it's stacked. Like everybody in front of me is awesome riders and even there's really really good guys behind me too so i'm pretty stoked to be 27th on the, for qualifying on the day it's gonna be a long day but we're excited it's gonna be fun definitely gonna be having more fun than anybody else out there that's for sure Uh, it's just gnarly being up there around 15th to 20th, you know, stuff starts happening really fast and the track's already gnarly enough riding it, you know, on itself. So it, I just got a little bit spun out, stuff started happening a little too fast for me and lost the flow really quick and we're not going to suck that bad again. This one's going to be better.
y'all it is sunday we are still at bud's creek um they're running a pro-am today so there's some decent money on the line so racers race we're staying and we're racing we spotted the competition sign up line was a little long luckily i think i rode the track enough yesterday should be good <laughs> Just finished up our amateur day. Got some ominous clouds. It's a little late in the afternoon and we're still only on first moto. I have to ride this bike at Ironman next weekend. So I'm calling it for myself. Rain's a coming, so we're gonna hit the road. <laughs> unloaded the truck. Benick's dad said, hey man, it's not gonna rain. We're like, all right, let's race. Here we are. Maddie! My phone sucks. Hang in there, everybody. Yeah, Matt! Go! He's got a 
the sucker valve! Woo! <laughs> out the day. I think I ended up with two thirds and a fourth. Uh, Danger Boy and uh, Benick kind of had me covered. Uh, I mean, they're hard to deal with anyway. And after racing yesterday, I'm just smoked. So uh, yeah, we're uh, I'm ready to have some rest. That's for sure. So we're loading up here. Me and Matt are loading up. Matt, where's Matt? Oh, there he is. Two motos and a national. 30 plus 2 and 6 motos today. This is what it look like. Nobody's stopping to see if he's okay. Nothing. We're good. Ready for Iron Man. We got a thumbs up out of Matty B. This pump is uh, kind of reminiscent to my riding yesterday at the National. Bummer. Thank God. I'm about to croak. <laughs> Gotta give a big old shout out to my girlfriend back at home. She wasn't able to make it this week. She had to uh, stay home and work. So thankful for her, all she does, staying home and working for us. And uh, you know, it's hard not having the top filmer with us this week. Thankful for her dad coming and filling in this weekend. And uh, yeah, she'll be back at the races soon. Just got passed by the 241. Reminds me of a few hours ago. Absolutely pissing rain. It is 11.13, almost to Greg's house. Both pretty much over it. Then I got another 40 minutes to drive, but uh, the end is near. We got thunder and lightning, but we have finally made it home. 12.16 a.m. This is pretty early compared to the typical weekend, but got the co-pilot back. She brought me home. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Catch you guys at Ironman, last one of the year.